what happens is that the gravitational wave uh, passes uh, through, uh, through, through the instrument and uh, it stretches the space-time. So we, what we do, we send a laser beam, a light beam, we split it in two parts and uh, we let the two beams travel uh, in, um, at, in two orthogonal directions. Then uh, the beam are sent, them, sent it back and they recombine. And uh, what we do, we measure the delay between the two beams. Since the space-time is stretched in an asymmetric way, the two beams have a delay and we can measure the delay between the two beams and uh, so we can assess the, uh, the, uh, the passage of uh, gravitational wave. In any case, this uh, kind of experiments are so complex, require so many expertise that you need to involve a lot of people. In, in this instrument, you have laser, you have mirrors, you have vacuum control, you have a lot of mechanics, there's electronics. All components are almost pushed to the limit. So you need very clever people, competitive people working all together and at the end when you in order to have all the competencies put together you reach this number of 1004 people which at the end sign the paper take a village a worldwide village to 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 do a discovery like this one and that's really an international collaboration so since 2007 we act as a single worldwide co collaboration where the data are shared the publications are in common, but the instruments are operated independently. That's the general framework. Now there are specific uh, contributions uh, which we can quote. For example, the mirrors, the, the coating of the mirrors, uh, the metrology of the mirrors has been made in Lyon, in one of the uh, French laboratories, Laboratoire de Matériaux Avancés and uh, it's a very important contribution, uh, hardware contribution. Mm -hmm.